as an admin role. Managing users is simple and efficient. Just click on the Manage Users menu to view all users, including admins and operators. Here, you will see a complete list of users with important details like their role name, mobile number, email, and an automatically generated password. This means you don't have to worry about creating passwords manually. To create a new user, simply click on the Create User button. You just need to fill in a few details. Select the role from the drop down, either admin or operator. Enter the full name, mobile number, and email. If you need to update any user information, just click the Edit button. To delete a user, click on the Delete button. A pop-up will appear to confirm your choice, preventing accidental deletions. If you do delete a user, don't worry. A Restore button will appear, allowing you to easily recover any deleted user data if needed. Throughout these tasks, a beautiful and user-friendly notification message will keep you informed about the actions you take, ensuring a smooth experience. With our user management feature, keeping track of your school's users is quick and hassle-free. If you log in as an operator using the provided email and auto-generated password, you will not see the Manage Users option in the sidebar menu. This feature is exclusively managed by admins to ensure security and proper control over user accounts. Instead, you'll have access to the features relevant to your responsibilities, such as managing classes, handling student information, and more. This setup allows for a clear division of roles within the software, ensuring that sensitive tasks are reserved for admins while operators can focus on their essential duties. Now, let's move on to Change Password. The auto-generated password is just a starting point. So here, you can set a strong, secure password. To update your password, enter your old password, then create a new password that is at least 8 characters long you'll need to confirm your new password as well. If anything goes wrong during this process, the system will display an error message to help you identify the issue. Once you've entered the correct information, just click Save Changes and you're done.